Welcome to Cosplay Spotlight with Captain Kyle. And we are shooting this at RetroCon 2017. So today, I have a special guest. He is a hero of one color, though this is not about color. And he has amazing powers. I would like to introduce to everyone, The Tick. Hey, everyone. Greetings, greetings. So, you call yourself The Tick, and you're a superhero. Uh, that, yes, I am indeed a superhero. And what kind of powers do you have as a superhero? Well, uh, probably my most famous power is I am nigh invulnerable. Nigh invulnerable? Yes. What is the difference between invulnerable and nigh invulnerable? Well, nigh, uh, meaning almost, uh, totally invulnerable. Uh, nothing I've found yet can hurt me. Uh, well, uh, physically, emotionally, it can scar me. So you're emotionally vulnerable? I, nigh, nigh vulnerable. You are nigh vulnerable? Yes. That, that is nigh. Nigh, yes. Like Bill, Bill Nye. Like Bill Nye, the science guy. Great guy. Other than invulnerability, what do you have? Well, I also have incredible strength. Incredible strength. Incredible. The proportionate strength of a tick. Wow, that is pretty strong. Oh, yes. Any other abilities that we should know about? Uh, well, uh, I don't mean to brag, but I'm uh, regularly good handsome. Good and handsome, yes. Handsome, is that a power? Yes, I like to think so. I bet you would, I bet you would. Not a power I have. So how did you get these amazing powers, other than the handsomeness, which I imagine you might have been born with that? Well, I grew into that, yes. Uh, I've always been this way. Always. And always. how long is always? Uh, since forever. Forever. So yes. you've been around forever. Well, as far as I can remember. And how far back is that? Uh, not as far as I like to think. It's, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I remember Arthur told me uh, it was a Tuesday. Uh, I was around. Uh, then, uh, then, yeah, before that, it was, I was around. All right. Around. Yes. Okay. So why did you decide to use your powers as a superhero? Justice is a mighty thing. And, uh, well, when you have powers, you have great responsibility. So why did you choose the Tick as your superhero name? Well, you, can't, you don't really choose uh, the Tick. You, you are born in to the Tick. I have been the Tick. I will always, uh, always be the Tick. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, have always... Always been the tick. So All right, that was a singularly unenlightening answer, but thank you very much. Oh, quite welcome. And as the tick, yes. who is your greatest nemesis? Well, I have fought many villains, but I would say my greatest villain would be the terror. The terror. The terror. And this terror, is he scary? Oh, boy, howdy, especially in his heyday. Back in the 20s. Back in the 20s. So how old is he now? I believe he is 122 years old. That's pretty old. Yes. Yes, he is. He's, uh, he's not as spry as he used to be, uh, but he's still quite terrifying. So as a superhero who fights for justice, yes. do you have a catchphrase of some kind like, up, up and away, or hammer uh, time, or something like that? You must be talking about my battle cry. Ah, your battle cry. What is your battle cry? Well, I have one of the most terrifying battle cries ever developed. Should I be scared? Oh, well, hang on to your shorts, sir, because here's one for the ages. Spoon! Spoon. Spoon. <laughs> Spoon is your battle cry. Yes. Uh, Nothing strikes fear in the criminals quite like Spoon. So, any advice for others who might want to become a superhero and name themselves something, I don't know, like the Slug, or, you know, something equally appetizing like the Tick? Well, I find that uh, the name will come to you eventually. Maybe even the powers might come to you. But the important part of being a hero is heart. And you, you just have to have the drive and the go to to go out there and bring justice to the unjust. Well, Mr. Tick, it has been wonderful. 
Um, we are going to have to go to another segment, but oh. we will return. So uh, we'll be right back. You know, cosplay is about costumes, but it's also about so much more. There's a whole culture to explore. Need a guide? Check out my book, Elements of Cosplay, The Costume and Beyond. Available on Amazon.com. Follow the link in the description below. And as always, have fun and cosplay on. All right, welcome back to the show. Now, I, I have bad news. The person I'm speaking to I know he makes a very convincing superhero. I know he looks like your hero and mine, The Tick, but he is actually not The Tick. He is a cosplayer, and I would like him to introduce himself to all you fine folk. Introduce yourself to all these fine folk. Well, hello, fine folks. Uh, my name is Magnus Brown. I, uh, I'm a cosplayer. So, Magnus, you are a cosplayer, and how long have you been cosplaying? Uh, well, uh, in, a, in a more semi-professional or, or whatever this stage of my life is, uh, probably about two years. Although I have been co uh, costuming for about uh, 20. What made you decide to cosplay The Tick? Uh, well, uh, The Tick's actually been one of my uh, favorite characters uh, since I've discovered him uh, several years back. Um, I, I, like the, I, I enjoy the, the fact that he has his own reality. You know, he, he's out there and he's trying to do the best he can and serve, you know, the public and, and, you know, goes out there time after time, no matter how bad things get and, and tries to set things right. And he looks like a fun character to oh, play. Oh, yeah. You can <laughs> play Daffy and... Uh, Especially with that battle cry. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, when he had, he also had a little, he had a sidekick, another sidekick, an actual sidekick for a while, a uh, little wooden boy. Uh, Pinocchio? No, no, just a couple planks uh, that he nailed together when Arthur was uh, seeing uh, somebody else. So <laughs> that, that sounds like a problem. Did they go to marriage counseling? Oh, no, no, no. They're, they're <laughs> completely... Uh, uh, Tick is asexual. Uh, he has no desire whatsoever for male or female. Uh, but that uh, Arthur is his partner. He, that is, that's his guy. My helmet here is a combination of the, uh, the Flash uh, helmet from x uh combined with uh, some polymer clay and wiring and some blue paint. And it looks very good. Well, thank you. Other than the tick, any future cosplays? And, and what other cosplays do you have? Uh, well, right now, uh, some of my more uh, recognizable cosplays, uh, Scarecrow. I've done the animated Scarecrow from uh, uh, the Super Friends as well as now I've just finished the uh, Scarecrow from Batman the Animated Series uh, Season 3 in which he had the long black trench coat and much more scarier persona. Uh, yeah, the, the Scarecrow on the Super Friends never scared me all that much. <laughs> no. no, his face though, his facial expressions were very terrifying at times. Uh, but then uh, I also uh, inherited a uh, War Machine armor from uh, the Smoke and uh, I, get to, I get to be War Machine. Uh, I also do uh, Rock and Roll from G.I. Joe, uh, Top Side from G.I. Joe. I'm working on two more characters, uh, Psych Out and Fast Draw for G.I. Joe characters. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a theme. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I'm part of the finest. Uh, so Which is all about G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe and Cobra. Uh, I'm also part of uh, the Legion of uh, Supervillains, and that's why I do the Scarecrow at. I'm also working on a, uh, a Red Hood uh, and uh, some... I'm also working on Mr. Freeze outfit, uh, so it's... Uh... So you have a lot on your plate. Oh, yes. That is awesome. So when you're not cosplaying, what do you do? What is your real-life job? <laughs> my, my real-life job is I'm a special needs teacher with Devro Advanced Behavioral Health. Uh, so I, I work with a lot of mentally and physically challenged individuals and uh, help teach them uh, about society and, and different educational needs. That sounds like... As heroic a job as anything the Tick or any other of the heroes you play would do. Well, we, we do try. <laughs> that is awesome. That is our show. Thanks, everyone, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the other episodes of Season 3 and check out many of our other videos. I would like to thank Magnus for uh, being on the show. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. Awesome job. Continue your awesome work as a teacher. I'll try. <laughs> and, uh, and good luck with those new costumes.
Thank Everyone, you. again, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And as always, have fun and cosplay on. Cosplay of War. Thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned for more exciting installments. And don't forget to subscribe.